Hey guys, welcome to Russell's Outdoors. The Z-Pax Duplex 10. Now I've owned it for almost two years. And let me tell you, I put it through its paces. So would I still recommend this tent? Stay tuned. Restless Outdoors with your host, The Restless One. So yes, it's been almost two years since I did a review on this tent. I really wanted to make a follow-up video and answer some of the questions that people had in the comments of that particular video, which I'll put in the cards up here. But some of the questions were as far as condensation, how comfortable the tent was, uh, durability. So I, I do want to address some of those as well as kind of show you some of the things that have happened since I've owned this tent. Some good, some bad. So let's get to it. So one of the first things you're going to notice when you purchase this tent is when you lay inside, you're gonna notice how close this wall is gonna to be to your face. Now, one thing Z-Pax has done to address this is putting tie-up points on either end of the head or the foot end, whatever end you wanna lay in. Doesn't make a difference. It's the beauty of this head, you can lay either which way, but you can increase that room by taking this guy a point and tying it off. One thing that I did though, was purchase these carbon poles uh, directly from z -Pack's website. And what that does is it literally, as you can see, lifts up and pulls out at a higher angle to give you a ton of headroom inside. And I'll show you once, uh, once I'm inside there. So now, instead of that tent being, you know, inches away from my nose, I can literally pick my head up and it's really not even an issue anymore. Another upgrade I did to this tent was I moved up to these uh, titanium shepherd hook uh, stakes. These are made by Vargo, I believe. Now, in my initial video, when I put this tent up, I used all MSR groundhog stakes, not knowing I've never owned a non-freestanding tent. So I wanted to make sure that this thing wasn't going anywhere and it was gonna stay up. That to me was way overkill. I've lightened up this whole setup by just upgrading to these uh, uh, shepherd hook uh, stakes. Now, the only place I do use uh, the MSR Groundhogs are on these lines here that, that basically support the main poles. Again, it's just peace of mind. Can you use this? Absolutely. I don't think you'd have any problem. I'm still very, very thrilled with the spruce green color of this. And you can see it is somewhat still transparent, but not nearly as transparent as the olive dab green or the blue. And the heavier denier fabric to me is just peace of mind and it is held up remarkably excellent. The one feature that I still love about the duplex is the fact that you have dual entries. You can actually undo both doors, just like so. You can roll them up, like I had this one. You can roll that other one up, and you create this unbelievable breeze. Uh, you will not have any condensation inside there, as long as it's not raining. You definitely want to at least keep one of the, one of the two doors closed. Uh, to prevent water from coming in but that's going to be any tent uh, i don't see anyone out there with a tent wide open in a rainstorm so the ability to uh, have four doors that you can actually do that with and pretty much create a rainproof setup is definitely something that i really really enjoy with this tent now the other tents that i've had were single opening or single entry and it just was not comfortable just because of the fact that you would never get that cross breeze so this here is a huge, huge uh, advantage uh, to owning uh, a tent that has the ability to uh, enter on either side. So, love that feature. Now, z -Pax does use a higher denier uh, Cuban fiber for their floor. Love it because of the fact that I never have to carry a ground sheet. I've had this thing on twigs, kind of like what I have it on right now. Uh, loose, wet, you name it. I've never had a problem, never had a puncture, especially when it's wet, water never seeped through, which is awesome. Uh, now, obviously you still wanna use a ground sheet if you want to say, keep the floor tent on the underside clean, but really once everything's dried up, you can just brush it off and it's good to go. So love that feature. Another thing I love about this tent is the fact of how high these bathtub floors are. Just to show you in comparison, that's a size 11 shoe. So you pretty much have 10 inches of protection where water can hit that ground, it won't splash up in you. That to me is awesome. One upgrade I did make to this tent was I did purchase these little stick-on loops that you can actually buy on z -Pack's website, but you don't need to because it already comes with it. So save yourself some money, just use what's already up there, 
it's awesome because what you can do is, like I use it to hang this little Sierra Designs uh, light diffusing uh, lamp thingy. And the fact that you can use it as a clothesline to hang all your sticky socks up. I also love the fact that it's a two-person tent, so really this thing gives you a ton of space on the inside. Put my gear alongside me, keep everything nice and dry. I don't have to keep anything outside, but the vestibules do definitely give you a ton of room inside uh, the tent once they're closed up. So just the options of having that much room inside of here to really stretch out, it's awesome. Another awesome feature is the fact that you can hang your backpack off the trekking pole hand loop to keep your bag off the ground. So you've heard me give all the good things about this tent. Now let me get to the bad things about this tent. The very first thing that I'm going to complain about is condensation. But any single wall tent, you're going to have condensation. I don't care if it's Cuban fiber, sill nylon, whatever. One thing you can combat that with is, again, keeping the doors open. When you have a single wall tent design like this, that's just something that you're going to have to deal with. The cool thing is, though, any condensation that does accumulate on the inside, you can wipe it off. It does not absorb into the fabric. Now, I do have another video on that, and that's pretty controversial, but nonetheless, I'll put it in the cards again here. Check that out. I've never had an issue where I put away a wet tent simply because I'm able to wipe out any moisture and it does not absorb into the tent. So again, that's something that I knew buying this tent, letting some type of cross breeze in here, it'll greatly reduce the chances of condensation. But has it been a deal breaker for me with owning this tent? Absolutely not. So again, some people, they don't like the condensation, but you know what? If you want to buy a single wall tent, that's just something you're going to have to live with. So now number two, as far as durability, this tent is super durable. Again, I don't even use a ground sheet. I do uh, essentially camp on, you know, rocks, sticks. I've never had any type of puncture in the bathtub floor whatsoever. One thing, though, is this bug netting that they do stitch onto the duplex. It is uber uber super thin it is very delicate now i've had one tear but it's not in a place that i would ever expect it to tear and i'll show you that one second and this is the place that i'm talking about right where the zipper meets the bathtub floor now one thing that i've seen are people taking the zipper and it's actually gone through where they take it back to zpex and they actually reinforce this area that's not what happened and it's hard to tell here but back here, I'll kind of show you with my finger, the stitching actually came loose from the bathtub floor and it was just basically coming apart right here. So what I did to fix that was, I just took a piece of Cuban fiber tape and honestly, I've had no issues whatsoever. So, and it's weird because there's really not that much tension in this area for it to come apart. So I don't know if it was just bad stitching or what have you. I tell you, they give you a roll of the, of the tape and it does come in handy. This is the only time I've ever had to use it on this tent. And again, it's just uh, a very weird spot. The only other big negative about this tent is the price. Now, of course, I knew what I was gonna pay and I knew what I was getting when I spent this. And to a lot of people, it's just a sticker shock. They look at something like this, 615 bucks. Oh, I can't spend that on the tent. If you're serious about backpacking and you're serious about wanting to reduce your weight, it's going to cost you money. That's, there's no doubt about it. But when you start looking at other tent manufacturers and seeing what they offer in a two-person setup, look at the weights. Look at the weights. Look at the features that each tent has and compare it to the duplex. Now, again, there are two-person tents out there that are $400, $500, right? Expensive, lightweight but none of them come close to as lightweight as this. Now, some of them are freestanding, I understand that, but you limit yourself too. You're not gonna find a dual entry tent at this weight class uh, for anything near two, $300. You're definitely going to spend pretty close to what you're gonna spend on this. So to me, it's something that, it was a hard pill for me to swallow to buy this thing, but I have absolutely no regrets. I know this tent will last me still a long time. 
the fact that other manufacturers, big manufacturers, are starting to develop Dyneema tents says something right there. So all in all though, would I still recommend this tent? Absolutely. This thing has far exceeded my expectations and a lot of people that have actually sat inside this tent and really looked over it, it changed their mind. And some of those people are actually buying the duplex just because they actually saw the features uh, that this tent provides. So I would say if you're in the market still, or if you're on the fence of whether or not you want to purchase uh, the duplex tent, I'm here to say definitely get it. The other thing too, after this video is out, I'm not going to two weeks from now, you know, say, hey, I got rid of the duplex. Although the Pleximid is a pretty sweet tent, but I will still continue using this tent. I love it. I highly recommend it. And it's something that, again, knowing that I have pretty much a bomb proof shelter with me at all times. It just makes the experience that much more enjoyable when I'm backpacking. So guys, I appreciate you guys watching as always. And if there's any questions, please put them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.